Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is July 21st, 2020. This is my fifth episode about vector calculus and the classical electromagnetism. Fifth episode about vector calculus and classical electromagnetism. In this episode, we will learn dot product. When we say dot product, it is equivalent to projection. So dot product means projection. This is a vector. I will denote vector A. This is a tail. This is head. It has magnitude. Magnitude is denoted by absolute value symbol. And it has direction. Direction is called unit vector. So, bar A bar is magnitude of vector A. A hat is unit vector of vector A. When you hear unit vector, unit vector is equivalent to direction of the vector. Magnitude is equivalent to length of the vector. So for any vector A is magnitude of A times a unit vector A hat where bar A is magnitude A hat is unit vector or direction vector. From this equation, A hat, the unit vector, equals vector A over magnitude of A. This is definition of unit vector. So the magnitude of unit vector A hat equals absolute value A over A magnitude equals A magnitude over A magnitude equals 1. So the magnitude over unit vector is 1. Now let me give you formal definition of that product. This is vector A, this is vector B, this is vector C. From this configuration, vector A plus vector C equals vector B because vector A starts at this point, ends here, vector C starts here and ends here. We denote the magnitude of A like this, or just A, lowercase a. We denote the magnitude of B, B bar, or just B. We denote the magnitude of C, C bar, just C. So this is A, and this is B, and this is C. I will denote this angle C, this angle B, this angle A. A dot B is defined magnitude of A times magnitude of B times cosine angle between vector A and vector B is C. C. This is the definition of dot product. From this definition equals B A cosine C equals B dot A. So A dot B equals B dot A. So dot product is commutative. This equation can also be denoted A B cosine C. 
because A is the magnitude of vector A, B is the magnitude of B, C is angle between A and V. From this equation, we can say A square B square minus C square over 2. Or this equation can also be expressed magnitude of A square plus magnitude of B square minus magnitude B minus A square over 2 because this is C square in this equation C equals B minus A in summary A dot B equals B dot A equals magnitude of A times magnitude of B times cosine angle between vector A vector B is C so cosine C this is equal to magnitude of A square plus magnitude of B square minus magnitude A minus B square over 2 or A square B square minus C square over 2 where C is magnitude of A minus B or magnitude B minus A. Please commit these relations into your memory. Now I scroll up, try to read the minds of the original creators of vector calculus. Why or what made them to define a dot b the dot product a magnitude times b magnitude times cosine angle between vector a and the vector b was theta was c. In my next episode, I will explain this part of the equations.